uh, from uh, Heather. Oh, what's the last name? What is it? Lamastro and Ben Valentine. Great. So three minutes, please. Thank you. I haven't started yet. Can I have my complete? Sorry, I'm having difficulty. Um, the history of, um, I'm sorry, my name is Mindy Stone. I live in West Oakland. The history of the DAC should be thoroughly examined before voting on item number 35. According to we OaklandWiki.org website, the history of the DAC claims to have been started back in 2008. Looking on uh, onto, into the linked PDF updated July 8, 2008, which is an informational report from the OPD to the Public Safety Committee, there is not one mention of the Domain Awareness Project. This document, called Oakland Police Camera System, cites the purpose of this program to supplement the OPD efforts to provide safe public environment in which to conduct business, transit, pub transit public spaces, and enjoy city neighborhoods with minimal fear of crime. There are many studies on camera monitoring that prove that cameras do not prevent crime. The ACLU has a report detailing the facts. The Oakland Police Camera System is nothing like what the DAC program is about. DAC was initiated in 2009 to protect the Port of Oakland from terrorist attacks. The DAC was started with American Recovery Reinvestment Act Port and Security Grant Program funding. The Port of Oakland, not the City of Oakland, accepted the grant funding in 2010. However, the City of Oakland selected SAIC to implement the DAC project. How that decision was made, I'd be interested in knowing. A side note about SAIC. SAIC is deeply involved in the operations of all major um, collection agencies, particularly the NSA and CIA. The SAIC, for example, managed one of the NSA's largest efforts in recent years, three, $3 billion project called Project Trailblazer, which attempted and failed to create actionable intelligence from a cacophony of telephone calls, fax messages, and emails that the NSA picks up every day. Launched in 2001, Trailblazer experienced hundreds of millions of dollars in cost overruns, and the NSA canceled it in 2005. Returning to the DAC project, um, SAIC fell behind on the project this June, which is why they are now having to ask for more money. Does anyone else feel that there's a financial reason not to allow DAC to expand out into Oakland, given who is asking for more money? According to the DAC strategic plan alignment goals, in their words, goal F, aggressively obtain the maximum amount of external grant and government funding and regulatory relief. That means get as much taxpayer dollars as possible while eliminating regulations on surveillance systems and operations. And this security project is 100% grant funded with the exception of port staff and overhead costs. So how much will this cost Oakland taxpayers over the short and long term? My last statement, opening this Pandora's box on an already broke federal government and severely stressed Oakland City general fund situation is reckless at best and criminal at worst. Don't rip off the taxpayers on this project. No on item 35. My name is Leslie Dreyer. I'm an Oakland community member opposed to the DAC, increased surveillance and more infringements on our civil liberties. Uh, governments claim security for their justification for civil liberties abuses, but overwhelmingly the security in question is that of the state from its own populations. The DAC will track our every move. They say that we want um, specifics on guidelines, but that's, we don't, you don't have specifics on guidelines. You can't expect the public to trust that you will actually protect our Fourth Amendment rights. Um, when we've learned enough from the NSA that's been storing all of our data already. Um, 
The DAC's initial intent was to increase port security. What does this expansion have to do with port security? Uh, on the national and local level, our governments need to shift their priorities and resources to address the roots of society's problems, and militarization and surveillance are not the answer. Let's not let Oakland become a model for an ever-expanding militarized police state. Let's make sure our youth grow up with their Fourth Amendment rights intact. That means we have to reject the DAC, roll back the Patriot Act. Let's make sure there's no more unarmed 22-year-olds are shot in the back as the cops respond using even more advanced surveillance. Let's dream big, imagine that we could do what we could do with $10.9 million. Thank you. I'm David Colburn. I'm a District True resident. Um, I think a month after the NSA revelations of abusive surveillance practices by the government against its own citizens, it's really amazing you would decide to aggregate all the city's feeds into one system and worry about the privacy issues later, which is basically what you're doing. Um, as you know, uh, the Oakland government has a huge accountability problem, whether it's the police or, as we saw last week, the city council itself is, you know, unable to hold itself accountable for any wrongdoing. And uh, the question with a system like this isn't whether abuses will happen, it's how often they'll happen and what's going to be done about it, etc. And uh, to have that discussion after the thing is built is just outrageous. Thanks.